The Invincible comic book and TV series follows Mark Grayson, who is basically Superman's son. His father's actually called Omni-Man, and although he isn't Superman, they're pretty much the same type of character. It's clearly inspired by Superman. But there are some very key differences, such as Omni-Man turning evil, and his son, Invincible, having to step up and become the world's most powerful hero. And although Invincible himself is not quite as strong as his father is, he is still very much an A-list hero with a lot of power. And when you have a strong hero, you of course need villains who are either equally strong or even more powerful than the hero. Because without an opponent that could actually defeat the hero, there's no real conflict or obstacles for them to overcome, and the story would be boring. And this video is going to go over the five most powerful supervillains in the Invincible universe, most of which haven't yet appeared in the Amazon show. So fair warning, you might consider these some spoilers. Personally, I wouldn't because I'm just mentioning the characters, but it's up to you. Frag. Now, I know these videos usually have the most powerful ones saved till last, but I figured, what the hell? Some of you are probably only here to find out who the most powerful one is, so let's answer that question, and then you can go watch something else. The Grand Regent of the Viltrumites, Frag was bred and raised to be the leader of the Viltrumite Empire, and trained to be the perfect warrior. And he is undoubtedly the strongest Viltrumite there is. There's really no competition, and he is almost unstoppable. Even the combined might of Invincible, Omni-Man, and Alan the Alien couldn't stop him. In fact, they barely even slowed him down. He not only defeated them, but he could have easily killed them if he'd wanted to. And Frag is absolutely ruthless, even by Viltrumite standards. And that's saying something. He tolerates no failures and has no qualms about killing anyone, either friend or foe, to achieve his goals. In fact, in the comic books, he actually has sacrificed thousands of his own children to win battles and he doesn't even care in the least, as they were weak, and the weak deserve to die. Now, since he is the leader of the Viltrumite Empire, and that is very much their mandate as a species, that does make sense. But Frag believes this zealously, and he is without a doubt the deadliest enemy that Invincible ever faces. Battle Beast. Now, to be fair, technically speaking, Battle Beast isn't a villain. In fact, at one point, he was actually a hero. But over time, this changed, and he became addicted to combat. So now, he doesn't care if he fights for right or wrong. All he cares about is fighting strong combatants. He's basically just a junkie who lives for the next fight. So he does things that are evil, to be sure, but his motivations aren't technically speaking evil. They're just born out of an addiction to violence. Now, he's actually an alien, and on the planet that he's from, he's considered to be a hero, or rather, a legendary figure, as most of the people there don't even know if he existed or not, because he left the planet over a century ago. But he was a great warrior who helped bring peace to the planet and turned it into a utopia, which is partly why a lot of people don't believe he's actually real. But unfortunately, along the way, he became addicted to combat, and now travels the universe looking for a worthy opponent. Although later on there is some evidence to suggest that there's actually a curse placed on his powers that make him addicted to combat, and actually his daughter inherits it later on and has the same unfortunate need to constantly fight strong people. Now, Battle Beast is over 100 years old and seemingly doesn't age. He is super strong and super tough and a master hand-to-hand -hand combat. In fact, he nearly killed Invincible and Monster Girl in the same fight without breaking a sweat. I mean, it wasn't even a fight, really. Battle Beast was just so much stronger that he batted them aside like they were flies. The only reason he didn't kill them is because they thought there was no honour in killing such weak opponents, so he left them alive. And to put his strength in perspective, the only Viltrumite who could ever best him in battle was Frag, who is literally the most powerful member of the most powerful species in the universe. So, Battle Beast is pretty tough. Conquest. It's going to come as no surprise that there are a few Viltrumites on this list. After all, they are an evil race of super powerful beings, and as I said, they're also the most powerful species in the universe. Now, Conquest is thousands of years old, and he has never once failed to conquer a planet, hence why they call him Conquest. The only exception to this is the last planet he, he was sent to, which was Earth, which he was unable to conquer because he was defeated in battle by Invincible and Atom Eve. Now, Conquest is feared throughout the galaxy, and is considered by most to be the most powerful Viltrumite next to Frag. In fact, it's said that Frag is the only person that Conquest fears. Now, admittedly, Invincible did defeat him, but they weren't exactly in a one-on-one -on -one fight. 
Invincible had quite a lot of help in defeating him and it still very nearly killed him. Now very little was actually known about Conquest, other than the fact that he doesn't actually care about the Viltrumite Empire or even about conquering planets. The only thing he cares about is killing. He loves nothing more than killing up close and personal against a strong opponent who he can rip to pieces and then bathe himself in the blood of his enemies. He is very much a two-dimensional villain. And basically, the guy's completely nuts, but he's also crazy powerful, which makes him an extreme threat to anyone that he faces in battle. Now, he does actually have a robotic arm, and you might wonder, if he's such a deadly opponent, how comes he lost a limb? Now, the reason for this is that he was infected with the Scourge virus, which is a very deadly virus to Viltrumites. And although he survived the virus, there is actually a period after they've survived it where Viltrumites become weakened, or in some cases, even lose their powers altogether. So basically, he got this virus, survived, but was weakened afterwards. And so temporarily, he wasn't as strong as he normally is, and a bunch of rabid aliens cut his arm off. But of course, he later gets his full powers back and became as deadly as he ever was. Dinosaurus. Not only one of the strongest villains, but Dinosaurus is debatably the smartest supervillain in the Invincible Universe. His origins isn't exactly made clear, but he is actually a human being, and a rather weak and dumb human at that. But when this human feels indifference, he transforms into a super intelligent dinosaur man who wants to make the world a better place. That's actually his villainous motivation. He does want to improve the world. The problem is, his version of improving the world involves killing a lot of humans, as he thinks humans are destroying the planet, which we kind of are to be fair, so he's not entirely wrong. To give you an example of the way he thinks, he designs some super smart bombs and uses them to blow up Las Vegas, getting rid of a lot of humans and helping with the overpopulation, and also getting rid of a city that he feels is just a drain on resources and shouldn't exist. And the explosion from the bombs was designed to not only kill all of the people there, but also to turn the desert into a giant glass platform, which could then be used to create a giant solar panel and provide free electricity to most of America. And oddly enough, the solar panel is actually made, and it works pretty well, and provides a lot of power to the rest of America. I mean, dinosaurus methods are extreme, and pretty insane, but they do work. Which in a way is actually what makes him so dangerous, as he believes in his cause entirely, and he gets results. Now in terms of superpowers, he is super tough, and super strong, and super smart. Basically, he's just a really tough, clever guy. And he even managed to kill one of the strongest supervillains in the Invincible Universe without so much as breaking a sweat. And that villain was Omnipotus. In a way, Omnipotus is actually the strongest supervillain in the universe, as he has the power to absorb the energy of the universe itself and create life with this energy. Basically, he absorbs all forms of energy and makes himself strong with it. And he also kind of gets new abilities like able to make stuff that he can imagine, telekinesis, super strength, semi-invulnerability, the standard kind of powers. Basically, think of him like Galactus from the Marvel Universe or the Anti-Monitor from the DC Universe. He basically just eats the universe itself and he's from another dimension where he's drained it dry. And if he absorbs enough energy, he becomes unstoppable and basically all-powerful. With that being said, Dinosaurus killed him with one bite eating his head. Though, to be fair, that scene is done more as a joke than anything else and it's not really a good representative of his true strength, as he previously was able to stand up to all of the world's heroes combined, minus Invincible, who was off-planet at the time, and all of the heroes only managed to defeat him by pushing him through a portal to another universe, not really beating him, but just getting rid of the problem, because he was just too powerful for them. And that was actually a weakened version of Omnipotus. Like I said, the more of the universe's energy he absorbs, the stronger he becomes, and potentially could become all-powerful. But since he was always a minor villain, played more for laughs than anything else, he never really got the limelight that he deserved. But like I said, if he was charged up with enough energy, he could easily destroy a planet. So he does deserve to be on this list. His powers are that he is super strong, super tough, like everyone on this list. But he also doesn't seem to age, has telekinesis and energy projection, and he can literally create life itself. And he can also create whatever he can imagine. He basically just restructures atoms. And at one point, he actually turns some rocks into rock monsters to fight some heroes for him. Basically, he's a god, and a pretty powerful one at that. 
I also feel I should give an honourable mention to Omni-Man, since he does have a period where he is very much a supervillain, and he is one of the most powerful Vilchmite warriors there is, next to Frag and Conquest, so he is a very powerful villain. But since he is a hero for the most part, I've decided not to include him in this list, but because of his power level, he does still deserve to be mentioned. After all, he was able to defeat this universe's version of the Justice League on his own, and Invincible never even really came close to beating him in a fight, so he's pretty badass. And that is the five most powerful supervillains in the Invincible comic book universe. Although I do have to say, there are of course more seasons of the show being made, so they may come up with a stronger villain. Though to be honest, from the way it's been adapted so far, it does seem like they're being quite true to the comic book. So these villains should end up being the strongest villains in the TV show as well. And personally, I'd say my favourite one of them is Battle Beast. I have absolutely no idea why, but there is something about him that I just really like. And I especially like the fact that in the show, Worf from Star Trek does his voice. I mean, that is a good bit of casting right there. But which one of these is your favourite? And are there any other supervillains that you think should have been on this list? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to quickly remind everyone that we have some merchandise available on our store. And to say thank you to everyone who has donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching. And feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.